everyone. In this video, we're going to get a little bit more practice adding and subtracting numbers when they're express, expressed in scientific notation or exponential form. So looking at this problem, I'm going to have to do this subtraction that's in brackets first, and then whatever I get for this difference, I'm going to multiply by this number here. And again, since this problem involves subtraction and multiplication, if you were to ask me how many sig figs should be in my final answer, I would say I don't know because first I have to follow the rule for subtraction and then I have to follow the rule for multiplication. So let's follow the rule for subtraction. And again, this is where we're paying attention to decimal places, but both of our numbers have to have the same exponent. So this is 10 to the fifth. This is 10 to the third. We want those to have the same exponent. And I think you've heard me say before, convert to the higher power. So I'm just going to rewrite this number. And then now I'm going to rewrite this number and I'm going to convert it to 10 to the fifth. So to go from 10 to the third, to 10 to the fifth means that I've multiplied by 100. So I better divide this part of the number by 100. So I'm subtracting 0 0.01200. And now I'm going to follow the rule for subtraction, which means I'm paying attention to decimal places. So let me just bring down my 10 to the fifth. And here I've got one decimal place. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five decimal places. My answer, therefore, better only have one decimal place. So let me do this on my calculator. I am getting 285.2. .2. I've got my one decimal place, but I've still got more arithmetic to do. So I'm going to write down those insignificant digits as subscripts. And that is the answer that I got here. So I still need to multiply by this number. Maybe let me rewrite this. So 285.2, .2, one decimal place with an insignificant 88 times 10 to the fifth. And now I'm going to multiply by 2.8954. And now my rule for sig figs is different. I don't care about decimal places anymore. I care about sig figs. And I've got one, two, three, four sig figs here. And one, two, three, four, five sig figs here. My answer better only have four sig figs. Let's see what we get. I got quite a large number and I got eight point two six zero with in, an insignificant two two nine times ten to the seventh so i've written the number with four sig figs one two three four let me round it eight point two six zero times ten to the seventh i thought we could try one more here it is it's very similar to the previous one Notice that we're going to have to do some subtraction in the numerator first. And again, we're subtracting numbers in exponential form. And then we'll have to divide. Again, because the arithmetic involves subtraction, which has one rule for sig figs, and then division, which has another rule for sig figs, if you were to ask me how many sig figs should be in my final answer, I would say I don't know yet because I have to follow the rules as I go. So let's see what we get for this subtraction. I'm going to rewrite this number because it does have the higher power. And then I'm going to convert this number to 10 to the fifth. And I think it is very similar to the previous one. To go from 10 to the third to 10 to the fifth, that's like multiplying by 100. So I'm going to have to divide this part of the number by 100. 
So I'm subtracting 0 0.017, and now I follow the rules for subtraction, which means I'm paying attention to decimal places. I've got one, two, three, four decimal places here, and three decimal places here. My answer better only have three decimal places, so let me bring down my exponent and do this arithmetic on my calculator. I am getting 3.711 with an insignificant one, and notice that I do have three decimal places, but I didn't round until the end because I've got more work to do. So maybe I'll just put that right up here. In this numerator, we're getting 3.711 with an insignificant one times 10 to the fifth. And we're going to divide by 4.427 times 10 to the third. And now I'm dividing. I don't care about decimal places anymore. I care about sig figs. And you can see here that we've got four sig figs upstairs. And it looks like four sig figs downstairs. Our answer then needs four sig figs. Let's see what we get. I am getting... 8.382 with an insignificant, I'm just going to call it 9 times 10 to the first. And if I were to round, I would call that 8.383 times 10 to the first. Right? We've got four sig figs. Or I might even just call that 83.83. And this one was kind of interesting because if you were to look at the problem at the very beginning, you may have said, oh, this only has two sig figs or one decimal place. My answer should only have two sig figs. So again, if you use that thought process, you'd be wrong. With these combination problems, you've got to follow the rules as you go. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for listening.